Right, let's have a quick chat about Pythagoras' theorem. And um, from the diagram you can see in front of you here, this is where we're going to show how Pythagoras has discovered this theorem. And it all comes from a right angle triangle. So we'll assume that we have a right angle there, and this is our right angle triangle. From this right angle triangle, we've got our longest side there, which we call the hypotenuse. I will write the name of that down. So this is our hypotenuse here, um, the longest side hypotenuse. So we have two shorter sides there, short side here, and a short side here. Now, um, what Pythagoras discovered is that if I took this short side, which we can see is four units long, one, two, three, four, there are four squares there, and we found it. Uh, we made a square with it and found the area. Well, we know the area of a square that's four units on, e on, on any side is going to be 16 because it will be four times four. If you want, you can count the little squares in there. Also, on this other short side, it's three units long. And if you used it to make, make a square, then you're going to have an area of nine. And what he noticed is that for any right angle triangle, if I add the area, if I add the area of the two shorter sides, I will get the area of the longer side or the hypotenuse. I will get the area of that. And so from that, because we know the area of a square is side square, as we can see there, then from that we can derive, or Pythagoras can derive the formula that says um, a square plus b square is c square, but bear in mind that this c square will always be the hypotenuse, right? So it will always be the longest side. So in any case, whenever you look at it, always make sure that the hypotenuse comes first or it's on its own, and then you can rearrange to find whatever you like. All right, let's put this into practice. So here I've got um, a right angle triangle. I will put my right angle in there. So there's my right angle triangle. And from this right angle triangle, we can now find um, the missing side, which I will call x. If you look very carefully, it is the longest side. It's also the side opposite the right angle. So I know that this is my hypotenuse side. Okay, now based on Pythagoras' theorem we just looked at on, on the other page, um, we know the hypotenuse always comes first, so I can then state the formula as x squared, making sure the hypotenuse comes first, is equal to that side square plus that side square, which will then now be 5 square plus 9 square. Okay, and I did make sure that my hypotenuse was first and alone on one side of the equal sign. So here we go then. I'll just now start working this out. x squared is equal to, well, f I can work out 5 squared and I'll work out 9 squared, which is going to be 25 plus 81. All right, now I can just basically simplify this which will give me 106, and that's what my x square is going to equal to. Now, I want x on its own, x on its own, I don't want x square, and the inverse operation of squaring will be square root, so x will now be the square root of 106. We're going to take the positive value of that square root, which will give us 10.3 centimeters if we want it to one decimal place. So this is going to be 10.3. All right, now that you've learned how to do that, we can now look at a different problem here. And for this problem, what I, what I would suggest you do, if you think you got the idea, is best to pause this video here and then have a go. All right. Um, and then I'll just quickly work it out now. So here we've got our 
um, hypotenuse again. I know that that's the hypotenuse because it's directly opposite the right angle. So I will start with that. x square is equal to 4.8 square plus 7 square. All right. A quick bit of working out, which I wouldn't bore you with, so I'll just bring you straight to the end. Okay, so here is the working out. I've obviously squared 4.8 and squared 7 and then added it together to give me 72.04. Because I want to get rid of the square, I will square root my answer, thereby giving me 8.5. Now, worst case scenario, you'll end up with something like this which is, well, it's not really that bad. Let's jump straight into it, and I'll work this one out slowly with you. We're going to find this missing side x over here. But my hypotenuse is there, because that is the side opposite the right angle, or the longest side of the triangle. So, as I've always said in this video, we will start with that. So 17 square, make sure that it always comes first, that's my hypotenuse, is equal to 8 square plus x square. Now that we've got that, we can see now that the x we're trying to find is all the way over here. I won't worry too much about it for now. What I will do is work everything out and then see where we get to. So let's start by finding um, 17 square. This gives us two, um, 289, so 289 is equal to 8 square is 64 plus x square. Now what I need to do is remove this um, 64 from here. I want it on this side of the equal sign because I need to have x by itself. So my next step now would be um, to have my 289 minus 64 is equal to x square. I know it's going to be minus um, because it was, a, it was adding here, and I will do the inverse operation to get rid of it, which is subtract. Well, quick bit of arithmetic subtracting those will give me 225 is equal to x squared. And again, I need to square root to find that answer. So once I square root 225, I so I will get, so let me write that down, 225, the square root of it is x. And that's going to give me 15. That equals to x there. So now I know that um, that missing side is going to be 15 centimeters. All right, let's do a close, um, bring this video to a close quickly. So here I've got one that you can have a go at working out. Um, I would not go through the working out of it. I will just get you started and then you can finish it off and I'll show you the answer. Let's get you started. So here is my right angle which means that is my hypotenuse, which has to come first. So 24 square is equal to x square plus 19 square. Okay, so there we have it. Um, you will obviously need to rearrange and get your answer. So I will just jump straight to the answer and say the answer you should get is x is equal to 14.7 centimeters. All right. Well, good luck finding that. I know you will be successful. Keep working hard at it and look for opportunities to use Pythagoras' theorem. You only use it on right angle triangles and you only use it when you already know two sides and you're trying to find the third side.